That's what he does for you and for me. He's so committed to ensuring your deliverance that he is willing to get dusty in order to make it happen. He's willing to come down to the dirt and the grime of this earth in order to make sure that your deliverance is secure. This is our God. He wrestles with us until he has every single part of us, until there's no nook or cranny that's left in our soul that he has not invaded. This is what he was doing for Jacob. (laughs) Yes, he's going to stop at nothing until that occurs, until that good work that he is working to perform uh, perform in us is totally complete. Yes, even if that means lowering himself to such a level that he can be bested in a wrestling match. And yes, even if that means losing everything. Because you see, this is the gospel. This is the good news that we have because that's exactly what our God did. He humbled himself so much that he was beaten by a man on a wrestling match with a dislocated hip. But even better, he humbled himself so much that he allowed himself to be defeated on a cross of wood that he spoke into existence. The defeats here by the river Jabbok reminds me of Jesus' defeat on Golgotha when he was on that cross where he allowed himself to be defeated why? so that his sons could have the blessing so that his daughters and his sons could be delivered 